Welcome back to another Ab Daily News. Uh, today, talk about the Let's Talk at Montreal Canadian. And stay until to the end of the video. I'm going to talk about players should not returning with the Montreal Canadian. First of all, Montreal lost 5 2 again the New York Rangers, 4 2 again the Toronto Maple Leaf. And if you have to go all the way to Thursday, they lost 7 4 again the Tampa Bay Lightning. Three games in the last four nights, and they gave 16 goals. First of all, Kaden Cole got hurt at the beginning of the game again in Tampa Bay Lightning. We can see it. The pairing of the defenseman was not very good after that. And then Abel Jekai got hurt also again in Tampa Bay Lightning. Then a plays on the weekend. They called out Justin Barron. They tried to pairing Strubble, Kovacevic, Aris, Barron together. It did not do very well overall. Also, the goaltender did not do well. Thursday, Primo, six goals. Saturday, Montembo, four goals and 12 shots. Primo, okay, again, New York Rangers, but at the end, the defensive side of the game, and Montreal in the end, did not do well. Defenseman and the goaltender. It is what it is. Now, the good news is the Montreal Canadiens are 28. How? Because the Ottawa and the Arizona won one game this weekend. Now, Montreal, if the season was over tonight, the draft fifth, in NHL. Still have more game to go. By the way, talking about the Montreal Canadiens, they still have five games remaining. Tuesday, Flyers. Thursday, Islanders. Saturday, Ottawa. And next week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, back-to-back -back, uh, again, the Detroit Red Wings. Four of the five games are, again, the team are in the wild card uh, playoff spot. And then, the game again, Ottawa, is going to be for the spot for the Montreal Canadiens for the NHL draft. Five games running important for the Montreal Canadian for the rest of the season. Let's go back about the weekend. We have some positive vibes during the weekend. First of all, Coca Field scored four goals in the last four games. Tried to reach the 25 goal of the year. Then Mike Madison, four assists Saturday and Sunday total. So Madison passed the my son of 55 points, tried to reach a 60 point. Nick Zuki scored one goal, one assist Saturday, tried to reach the total of the 35 five goal in NHL. Sakaski have an assist Saturday try to reach the total of 50 points in NHL. Alex Nook scored a goal yesterday that gave him the same number of the points he did last year with the Colorado Avalanche in 82 game. Now he did it with a little bit over 50 game with the Montreal Canadian. New Hook have the potential to become a 25 goal in NHL and a 50 point and the first serve with the Montreal Canadian. So we have some kind of positive vibes for the Montreal Canadian overall whatever they lost the last three games. I don't like to use the ad daily news for the recap games. I want to talk a little bit more about what happening for the Montreal Canadiens next year. Which players should not return with the Montreal Canadiens? First of all, guys, let's start it with Josh Anderson. It's painful to watch. Everything he does on the ice turn negative. Again, another goal from him last night against the New York Rangers. Did the same thing against the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's getting rough for Josh Anderson. I don't know how to scratch, but I think Martin said we should put him on the full line. Don't give him more opportunity. It's time for Martin said we to bring RHP on the third line and bring back Jesse Allen and remove Tanner Pearson in the lineup. Pearson not going to return with the Montreal Canadian. Secondly, I feel a little bit worried about Jesse Allen. He become RFA at the end of the year. And I feel like maybe he lost his spot with the Montreal Canadian for the upcoming season. Now, we still have other players. In my opinion, I know you like a lot of you like Mike Pesada. Sorry, guys. Pesada, for me, should not play with the Montreal next season. Then you have maybe Josh Anderson's situation. Can you did it with Mike Hoffman? Can he do the same thing with Josh Anderson? I don't know. But I feel like Josh Anderson lost his motivation to play with the Montreal Canadiens. I understand he can maybe bounce back. And I said that during my live stream yesterday. I feel like overall, it would be better for both parties. Anderson and a Montreal Canadian to split each other and to wish the best for Josh Anderson with another team in NHL. Let's go now to RHP. Yes, he's a French Canadian, but guy, he gave us only one goal this year. He got opportunities. I know what he does on the PK, but at the end of the day, guys, uh, for me, this is the end for RHP. It's a player to play in American Hockey League. If you need a call up, he can come back. But again, that's it, that's all. I don't see a RHP in the first year for Montreal Canadian. That's all the player for Montreal should look in to not returning with the Montreal Canadiens. 
Alonen, Pearson, Pesada are three of them and RHP. Other defensemen, I feel this is the end of Kovacevic for the Montreal Canadian. And I'm not sure about Jordan Harris. Montreal Canadian should looking for two things on the summer. Add a top six forward and to add a veteran defenseman on the right side. Better at Kovacevic. Now, some of you is plus nine. Kovacevic at the end is L3 scratch a lot of time. Go get someone of the experience. If ever you're losing David Saval, you still have another right defenseman. And I don't have any particular name right now. So can you should add a top six players and it should add a veteran defenseman on the right side. Montreal should also fall apart with RHP, Pearson, Colin White, J.C. Allen, Pesada, Kovacevic, and possible Jordan Harris. Montreal should add also one of the three, Hudson, Rebacker, or Mayu for upcoming season. Now, some of you said Montreal should be in the playoff next year. We're going to have a better year. Yes, I feel they're going to have a better year. But again, guys, they're going to be a team approximately at 500 if they don't do a lot of change on the roster. Montembo is okay. Primo is okay. But that's it. That's all, guys. With a defenseman at 22, 23 years old with not much experience, night after night, they're going to struggle. And they don't have more at Kirby Dak on the top six. Whatever you're thinking, Joshua Roy and Alex the Hook, it's not good enough for the Montreal Canadian to be a playoff team in 2024 to 2025 with the roster they have at this moment. I know you may be not going to like my statement about this, but this is the reality. I hope I'll be wrong. I always love the Montreal Canadian, but I look about the facts and I'm more realistic about what's happening with the Montreal Canadian. Yes, they have a good year. Yes, many players develop, but... To bring the Montreal Canadian guys at 70 points to 93 points in one year with a division like Boston, Florida, Tampa Bay, Toronto, Ottawa, Detroit, and Buffalo. It's going to be hard. Here we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, at the news. But before we leave, guys, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment uh, about what happening for the Montreal Canadian during the weekend. Which player stood out for you? Which player are you really disappointed and then tell me what you think about the upcoming season for Montreal Canadian. Which player you feel is not going to returning with Montreal next year? Or how you feel about the upcoming season or the prediction for the Montreal Canadian? And thanks for watching a little at the news. Don't forget to click on the like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And of course, remember, you have greatness inside of you. I will wish you an amazing, great next day, everybody.